why is game design important for small games like our shmup? While design might not seem like something you need for your first few games, which are pretty simple and created for the sake of learning, you should still get into the habit of doing some game design before you jump into your coding. I'm not saying you have to design every possible aspect of your game, but it's good to have a rough roadmap of where you are headed. It is also good to work on basic designs now so you get used to it. This will make it easier to design larger projects later. Spending time designing is a good way to get all your ideas out on paper and help you organize everything. Of course, for large projects you can't design everything ahead of time, so you'll split your project into iterations and develop your program in small chunks. First, let's do some creative planning. We're going to make a shmup, but what will the theme be? Lots of shmups take place in outer space, but don't just settle for what everyone else does. What other settings are there? Instead of a spaceship, you could play a witch on a broomstick, a dragon, a pirate ship, a rabid hobo, whatever. Choose a theme, then decide what you'll have for the following. The player character, what kind of baddies there are, what kind of bullets they shoot, and places where the level will take place. How many levels should you have, and what should their environments be? Next, you should get a rough idea of how you want your game to play. Shmups always have power-ups. How do you want yours to work? For example, some games have it where, the more of a gun power-up you get, the more that gun gets leveled up. You could also have it where, the more you use a certain gun, the more it levels up. What other types of power-ups should there be? Point multipliers? One-ups? Barriers? Green bombs? What will your live system be like? How about health? Is it one hit and you're dead, or do you have a health meter? Unlimited lives, or a few? Will the player lose all their weapons when they die, or will their guns just get downgraded a bit? Some other things to think about are how many baddies you'll have, and what kind of attributes they'll have, such as a movement path as well as the path that their bullets take. For example, their bullets could hone in on the player, follow a sine wave, or just fly straight. A particular type of gun might shoot more than one bullet, like a spreader. I have a hard time making a game using colored squares as placeholders. If you're like me, you'll probably want to plan out what assets you want ahead of time. You don't have to plan out every single graphic or song you'll need. Think of the first iteration of your game as a demo, rather than a full game. Don't overcomplicate things, or you'll get overwhelmed. Maybe for your first iteration you'll have three levels, so you need up to three backgrounds, three background songs, and you want graphics for the player, each baddie, and the bullets. Remember that you can always start out small and add on later. Here are some examples of the graphics you would need. For a shmup, the player and baddies generally only need graphics for one direction of movement. One set of sprites you'll need are the characters, both the player and the bad guys. For characters, you'll need a moving animation loop, a death animation, and an animation for when they shoot. Another thing to plan are the types of bullets that will be shot. And, what kind of power-ups will you pick up? Guns? One-ups? Point multipliers, speed ups, barriers? Remember that you should make the power ups shiny and something that the player wants to get. Maybe floating up and down slightly to get the player's attention. Or if you want to confuse your players, you can make the power ups look like death poop, and then it'd be like, surprise, you get a laser rifle! What about the environments? What should the background be? Space? Sky? Water? For this tutorial, I'm not going to cover how to add tiled terrains to your maps. This will be for a later tutorial, and I'm wanting to keep this pretty simple for now. So, just plan out what kind of background image there will be for the levels. Finally for the graphics, plan out what you'll want for the title screen, game over screen, and maybe a winning screen. Remember that you'll need graphics for the basic menu on the title screen, such as play, help, and quit. As for sound and music, you probably won't need many sound effects, but a few examples are explosions or death noises, bullet shooting noises, power up, gaining sound, and the song for the title screen, game over screen, and the various levels. We'll go over how to create our levels in a later video, but that's another asset you might make ahead of time. That's all for the game design planning now. Next I'll go over code design. <laughs>